what were you expecting when you first um, when you were thinking about it in the lead up to the camp? Oh, I actually had no expectations, Jack. Saw an opportunity to uh, meet a lot of new friends I've never met before and uh, taking a bit more culture that I don't know about. So, like meeting up with um, some of the lads and uh, you know some of the new lads and re reacquainting with um, other lads that you mightn't have seen for a while is pretty important to um, Blackfellas, isn't it? It is, it is. It's uh, it's an issue that's been pretty close to me as I didn't, uh, I was never aware of my heritage until I was about 17 years of age and um, they're pretty crucial years in your, your youth. Um, I've got a couple of boys and a couple of girls at home. Uh, my boys are pretty interested in what's going on in their life. Um, my daughter's the same. Uh, but without me getting some knowledge that I can impart back to them uh, it, it leaves them in the same position as I'm in they have to go out and chase it themselves so uh, I find that if I can uh, get the relevant information from uh, from the rig you know from a good source then I can pass that information back to my guys and feel that what I'm telling them is correct and it's not something that's uh, come out of the blue from somewhere some of those uh, things that you're talking about, Pete, you know, like um, it is like really hard to explain to um, people that don't understand what you're actually going through. Uh, my folks, uh, they did an overnight flit, or my mother did and her family uh, when the, they were very young. Uh, she can't even tell me what it was all about. Uh, I believe it was in the stolen generation years. As a young man or a young boy, we were separated from our entire group of our entire mob basically and we relocated to another area we're still within the Camilleroy area uh, a few years later we actually moved from the Camilleroy area down to the Wiradjuri area and um, no relatives down there to fall back on and um, not knowing even of my Aboriginal heritage until I was 17 in which you know, it was only a slip of the tongue by an auntie so it's been a it's been a journey for me uh, since then to um, try and find out more about my heritage and um, the culture that goes along with it and um, that information I can then uh, impart to my children who in turn can pass it on to their children. So do you think that you take away from here that you might be able to uh, utilise um, in, in your own community when you go back? Um, just some of the, the life skills uh, not only in the uh, in, in traditional things we do, but also in uh, the information that uh, has been disseminated here with uh, with the mental health uh, in itself. And um, I suffered a little bit myself from it, and that's it's, it's, I don't suffer these days. I've taken the steps to overcome all that, but this just justifies what we're doing and and it gives me more insight as to why I have been like that and how I can change and if I can change then obviously those changes are, may not have a direct impact but they will have an indirect impact on my community and my family. Uh, I mean like in some of the sessions there's been um, some really powerful and really emotional st um, stories from some of the fellas how did that affect you? Did that affect you in a positive way or did that bring you down a bit? I think that's something that's driven from within all of us. Uh, we all feel that we're tough men, we've got a tough exterior, but inside we're not so tough. And as young men we, or boys, we're expected to be tough. Uh, we cop the knocks in life, we hide them within our system. It's meetings and, 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 and groups like this where you don't intend or you don't mean or you don't really centre yourself on oh, I'm going to be the centre of attraction here and say anything but um, it's just something that you hear other people's stories and you connect with them and you can relate with them and you can actually say well hell I you know I feel sorry for what's happened there but I can relate to what's going on and if I can help in the future with that guy and you know well hell I'm here and I know he's there for me. That sense of um, uh, camaraderie um, that comes with these sort of events, just being able to have that uh, that safe space um, goes a long way uh, to being able to let fellas tell their stories. Exactly. Without anybody uh, ridiculing or, or, or um, 
even making judgments on others. Um, nobody makes judgment on others on, on here at this camp. Um, we're all here for each other. Knowing that not having somewhere to go and talk to, although suicidal thoughts do have a tendency to go one step further, um, at a camp like this, you're able to bleed that grief out of you. And, uh, and everybody can relate to it. And uh, the support that comes from within the group justifies to yourself as to why had happened. When we're in that black spot of no return, uh, there is only one exit, and that's unfortunately the exit a few of our lads do take, and that's an exit that I like to shut down for not only myself, but for a lot of other crews in the area. So it's a very important issue, I think. It's a very important step to be able to get up and have your say in life, uh, not just at meetings like this, camps such as this but uh, it gives you the the strength to go back to your community and 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 pass on your negative actions in the past but your negative actions can now be reversed and be positive actions in the actions that we do now take from this step forward and I see that as a great help not just for myself and my family but all the lads that are here on the camp today and, and, and their families and their extended families and I believe it's a, a big issue within the communities and I take from this a great deal of solace in saying that mate, I don't think I've been on a better camp and drawn in so much good information. This would be the best camp that I've ever been on for the information that's been given and the camaraderie ship and the brotherhood that's been put out and uh, everybody's been accepted as such and there's been no exclusions. So, um, yeah, I find it fantastic. Uh, a bit of a short statement on your experience um, with us here down at Hall's Gap. Um, uh, yeah. Fantastic. I'm not going to say any more. I think it's just been fantastic. Thanks very much, um, Pete. We'll um, see you in. The, I'll see you in the near future. I think um, down at the Tweed Men's Group, um, and we hope to see you at the next next gathering. Thanks very much for your time, Pete.